नमस्ते एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू अवर डीप टाइव इन टू पतंजलीज योग सूत्रास टूडे वी विल एक्सप्लोर द नाइन्थ सूत्रा फ्रॉम द समाधिपाद शब्द जानानुपाति वस्तु शून्य विकल्प इन दिस सूत्रा पतंजली डिस्कसेस विकल्प और वर्बल डिल्यूजन एंड हाउ इट अफेक्ट्स अवर परसेप्शन ऑफ रियलिटी स्टे विद मी एज यू ब्रेक दिस डाउन एंड डिस्कवर हाउ इट इम्पैक्ट्स अवर एवरी डे लाइफ शब्द जानानुपाति वस्तु शून्य विकल्प Let's break this down. Patanjali tells us that vikalpa is a kind of mental modification where there is no real object behind the thought. It's purely verbal or conceptual based on words and ideas rather than something tangible in reality. Vikalpa refers to an idea or mental image that is not grounded in reality. It is like imagining something or making mental constructs that have no physical existence for example we all know the word unicorn when we hear this word our mind instantly creates an image of a unicorn but there is no actual unicorn out there this is vikalpa our mind builds an entire reality around something that does not truly exist in essence vikalpa is a mental fabrication but because it is based on language or verbal knowledge it feels real in our minds even though it is not grounded in reality let's make this relatable imagine you are waiting for a friend who is late to meet you your mind start racing with thoughts like they must be angry with me or maybe they are avoiding me these thoughts are not based on any facts they are purely assumptions yet they affect your emotion and state of mind this is vikalpa at play there is no reality to these ideas but because we imagine them they feel real and create unnecessary anxiety vikalpa is one of the five type of mental fluctuations or vrittis that patanjali identifies these mental constructs can create confusion cloud over judgment and lead to stress because we are reacting to things that are not real this can take us away from our present reality and fill our minds with distractions in yoga our goal is to reduce these fluctuations of the mind by recognizing when we are caught in vikalpa we can step back and remind ourselves that these thoughts are just mental constructs not reality philosophically vikalpa is closely related to the idea of mithya jan or false knowledge in vedanta This is a concept of perceiving the world in a distorted way. A famous example is mistaking a rope for a snake. This mistaken perception creates fear and panic. But when we see clearly, we realize it is just a rope. In the same way, we call cloud over judgment. It is when we hold on to an idea that does not have a real basis and because this idea is later proven false, it only increases mental disturbance so how do we handle vikalpa in our daily lives the first step is awareness as we practice yoga and meditation we become more aware of the nature of our thoughts when we catch ourselves in a moment of vikalp we can step back and question the validity of that thought is this real or am i just imagining things the more we practice the more we are able to recognize vikalp and avoid being swept away by mental delusions by returning to the present moment and the reality of our experience we can break the habit of constantly reacting to imaginary scenarios to sum it up patanjali's ninth sutra reminds us of the power of the mind to create illusions vikalp imaginary thoughts based on words or concepts can cloud our reality and disturb our peace through yoga we aim to see through these illusions and stay grounded in the present moment in the next sutra we will explore another type of mental fluctuation so stay tuned for that if you enjoyed this breakdown don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel for more insights into patanjali's yoga sutras thank you for watching and remember to stay mindful and present namaste